the infamous night that uh, Rob won the WWE title. You guys are driving down the highway. You get pulled over. <laughs> Some people I've spoken to have theorized that it might have been someone that ratted it out that said, hey, these guys are going down there, you know, stopping people who are maybe jealous of your success and Rob's success at that time. What, what are your thoughts on that? That, that could be because, you know, uh, Rob broke the rules and Vince let him get away with it. Anybody else broke the rules, they got penalized. But when, when we got caught that night, he, he didn't, we got penalized. But um, yeah, it felt like somebody ratted us out. That's yep. what it felt like. And so was there a lot of tension going into that locker room when you first came over to, to WWE? Or were the guys more welcoming? Or did you know that some were maybe trying to put the screws to you behind the scenes? Uh, no, everybody seemed welcoming to my face. Everybody was nice to me when I first came in, yeah. There was no, nobody, they don't have the guts to, to talk to your face like that. They have the guts behind your back. Mm -hmm. that, that's funny you mentioned that because um, The Undertaker was just on Joe Rogan recently and he's getting some heat for saying that uh, the locker room these days are, are, are real soft. What, what's your take on that? Yeah, that's true. Like I said, like now guys, they're going to advance their career by tattle, tattle tattling on people or, or making their, 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 their partner look bad, you know, and, and that, that's jealousy and insecurity. I understand that part, but I don't understand where you want to make the other guy look bad. So you look better. Just make yourself look better to make him look bad. <laughs> mm -hmm.